the kind of a guy that likes to learn who you're dealing with. And as a result, I get to know fairly closely the people at MacDon. And I developed pretty good friendships with several at MacDon. I ended up testing equipment for them. Uh, we originally got our first piece of MacDon equipment in, I believe it was a 6400 white SP Swather. Overall, obviously, I'm pretty happy. I've run Mac, straight MacDon since 82. I'm kind of the guy, a lot of my other friends did go to other headers, and it's really funny to watch them slowly come back to Mac Dots. <laughs> in, in 1999, obviously, 20, 20 years ago, uh, they had a, a big party at, uh, in Winnipeg at the convention center, I believe it was, about 750 attended. And my wife, Jane, and my two kids, Elisa and Stephanie, went with us. Uh, they were the only two under 18 at the entire event, I believe. But everybody got a, a 50th anniversary watch, and I still have mine. Uh, yeah, I've known uh, both Jason Strobe and Richard Kirkby for, I would say, probably close to 25 years. As a matter of fact, my dad hates testing equipment because there's the possibility you're going to have to shut it down. But my dad would say, was that red-haired Scots guy coming out again this year? And I said, yep, sure is. It's so good. I, I like him. <laughs> Jason Strobe was out, and this was, I think, in 06. And he ran the combine, and he ended up picking up a bunch of mud on an outside route, a really crooked, squirrely field. And uh, I'll never forget him telling me about digging my combine out for me. <laughs> I often wondered if the guys, that field personnel at MacDon sent out on their testing uh, runs almost took a PR course from Gary McDonald first. It seemed like they always have been really nice guys to deal with. No, I wish back on the very best. I hope they continue on the path they've been on for quite a while of, of good product improvement and good new product design and also service people that look after you.